Hey, it's Ben here, and this is a quick answer to a question on one of the Facebook groups that I follow on Final Cut Pro 10. And we're gonna have a look at how we create type with a strike through in it using one of my free plugins. So the first thing you need to do is jump onto my Gumroad site. I'll leave a link in the description below. And you're looking for the free custom frame plugin for Final Cut Pro 10. And basically we're sort of hacking this to make a title with a strike through on it. So let's uh, take a look at this plugin. It's designed to make a tight box with a nice rounded corner around it. You can have a square corner, but we can also use this to create a single line piece of text with a strike through through it by changing a few of the settings. So if we jump into Final Cut Pro 10, I already have this installed. So we'll come up to the type plugins. We're gonna come into my titles and we're looking for the rounded rectangle plugin. We'll drag that down to the timeline and you'll just get this little gray box here where we can type our text in. So we'll just use the word strike through here. And you can see under the type options here, we have some nice options for changing the, the left and right padding. We can make the roundness square at the edges of our box here, and we can change the top and bottom options here as well. And this is really how we're gonna make the strike through. So I am gonna just leave the, the padding left and right kind of nice and wide there. And then I'm gonna drop down this padding for the top and bottom until we get this single line through the type. And basically we can increase the width of that and then we can modify the color of it. So we'll make it nice magenta. And you can see the text is kind of still sitting over the top of it. That's just the way the layers are organized in Apple Motion. We can't change that. What we can do is change the 2D style to a style that doesn't have a drop shadow on it so that when we actually kind of get this lined up and change the color under face for that font to the same color, you will have your text with a strike through through it. So obviously this is only gonna do one line of type, so a title, we can modify the padding of the left and right to kind of change the, the line as we increase the size of our font here. We'll just make this nice and big. We may need to modify the margin on the left and on the right to get it to drop back to one line. Um, obviously this is normally supposed to be a box, but we're just kind of tricking it into not being a box. And you can see, we're getting a pretty good strike through there and we can adjust the, the length of that line pretty nicely. So that's a quick overview of how to make type with a strike through using this plugin. If anyone has any other suggestions of how to do this or has seen plugins where you can add strike throughs to type, I'd definitely be interested in seeing that. Hope you found this tutorial useful. If you have any questions, then leave a comment below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.